Alfred Jodl, a prominent military leader during World War II, remains a highly controversial figure in history. As the chief of operations of the German Armed Forces High Command, he played a crucial role in planning and executing military strategies for the Third Reich. Jodl's actions during the war continue to spark debates among historians, as his involvement in Nazi war crimes and aggressive military campaigns raise questions about his moral culpability and his true role within the Nazi regime. Early life and military career Born on May 10, 1890, in Würzburg, Germany, Alfred Jodl came from a family with a long military tradition. He pursued a military career from a young age, and in 1910, he joined the Bavarian army as an officer. Jodl's abilities as a skilled planner and strategist became evident early on, leading to his rapid ascent within the ranks. World War II and collaboration with Hitler With the outbreak of World War II, Jodl's influence within the German military grew significantly. He developed a close working relationship with Adolf Hitler, becoming a loyal collaborator in implementing the Führer's aggressive expansionist policies. Jodl played a pivotal role in drafting and implementing the plans for invasions, including the successful campaign against France in 1940. However, it was Jodl's involvement in the implementation of Operation Barbarossa, the invasion of the Soviet Union, which raised significant moral and legal questions about his actions during the war. As the operation resulted in countless atrocities, including the massacre of innocent civilians, Jodl's complicity in these events remains a topic of intense scrutiny. Nuremberg Trials and Conviction At the end of World War II, Jodl was arrested and charged with war crimes. He stood trial at the Nuremberg Trials, where he faced accusations of committing crimes against peace, war crimes, and crimes against humanity. Jodl defended himself by claiming he was merely following orders and acted as a soldier bound by loyalty and duty to his country. Nonetheless, the court found him guilty on multiple counts and sentenced him to death by hanging. Some have argued that Jodl's sentence was a result of Victor's justice, as his role, while significant, may not have been as influential or ideologically driven as other top Nazi leaders. Debate and Legacy The legacy of Alfred Jodl remains a topic of debate among historians and legal scholars. Some argue that he was an enthusiastic Nazi who willingly participated in the regime's atrocities and aggressive campaigns. Others contend that he was primarily a military planner following orders, and that his moral culpability should be viewed in the context of obedience to authority during times of war. The question of personal responsibility versus acting under orders remains a contentious issue in discussions of Jodl's case. While there is no doubt that he played a crucial role in planning and executing military operations, the extent of his knowledge of war crimes and his participation in implementing them remains ambiguous. Conclusion Alfred Jodl's life and career present a complex and challenging case study in the context of World War II and the Nazi regime. While he undoubtedly played a significant role in the military operations of the Third Reich, his culpability in war crimes and his true motivations are still subjects of historical debate. As we continue to examine history's darker chapters, the story of Alfred Jodl serves as a reminder of the complexity of human actions, and the importance of understanding the past to prevent such tragedies in the future. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. By subscribing, you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you again for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in our next video.